In this video, I want to show you a very powerful way how you can create an outside note here in DaVinci Resolve for the iPad. What am I talking about? So let's say, for example, you have a note here where you did a power window or maybe a magic mask if you have the studio version and you selected an area. So usually these kind of notes, everything that you do now will affect what you selected. But what if you want to select everything that is the opposite, the negative? And of course, you could come in here to the power notes and then, for example, here with my window note, I can deselect inverse my selection. Now everything outside is selected and not the one that I selected anymore. That's a possibility, you can do this, but what if you wanna keep that note with all of its settings for that area? And now you wanna add something to the outside. And there's a very powerful way and it's called add an outside note. The problem is if we right click here, we don't have the menu add notes, like for example here on the desktop. So if I, for example here, check the desktop, if we right click, we see add note and I can use an add outside note. By the way, the tip from today, I got from one of our community, Chris, Thank you for showing me this. And he recommended to watch the video from Jason Jalowski like two weeks ago, that video here, discover the incredible outside note in DaVinci Resolve 19. So definitely check out this video. He's explaining everything for the desktop, but how can we add this here to our iPad? And it's actually very simple because when we come into the shortcuts menu, option, command and K, and we search here for add, then we see here notes under color, and we open this one, we can see all the different methods how we can add a note. So we see here the standard one, like the normal note, the outside note is option O, and these kind of shortcuts are already preset. You don't even have to give them. It's by default for DaVinci Resolve. And then you see all the other ones as well, like for example, add parallel note, add serial before current, add serial. Because currently on the iPad version, if you do it just with a touch, the only way you can do this is either here, this is a normal note, then you have the parallel note, and then you have the serial note, but we don't have the outside note. But as you saw, if you have a keyboard or a Bluetooth keyboard, I even have a video here on my channel that I, where I show you that you can activate all of the pages and everything just with a Bluetooth keyboard on your iPhone. So if you need a keyboard, you can use a Bluetooth keyboard on your iPhone. And I can just simply hit option O. And if we look in here now, this is everything selected from the outside. So I don't have to manipulate anything here with this note. Now I can do all of my changes in the outside here on that note. So thanks again for Chris showing me this. And also thanks for Jason. He has an amazing channel about DaVinci Resolve. If you wanna learn DaVinci Resolve on the desktop, definitely check out his channel. And this is how you can do this in DaVinci Resolve for the iPad. If you wanna learn more about DaVinci Resolve on the iPad, I created a complete masterclass from beginner to pro where I teach you everything about DaVinci Resolve on the iPad and even those kind of hidden tricks where you sometimes only can access it with a keyboard or where the hidden pages are and these kind of things. Definitely check out the link in the description because that masterclass is for you. If you're new to the channel, I'm Daniel. Welcome to the channel. It's all about DaVinci Resolve. So if you like this, if you learned something, hit like, subscribe, dingle dingle the bam bang gong, and we see us in the next video. Bye.